A gateway for tourism is what the Ministry of Works is hoping Long Island will become in the years ahead. This after announcing a few projects intended to upgrade the destination. Here's Antoine Smith. New infrastructural upgrades are on the way for people of Long Island. This after Minister Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, announced new plans for the island. The cabinet has approved the work on the Newton Ski Bridge, so you're going to have a new bridge down the Newton Ski Zone. And next year, next year, I want everybody to understand me clearly, we will start the engineering studies for your new airport. With the roadworks currently ongoing for improvements to attraction site Monument Road, this announcement marks a series of fundamental upgrades for Long Islanders. And Minister Bannister says this reflects the government's readiness to push family islands forward. It means that we are seeking to open North Island, Long Island up as a gateway. Tourism. Residents who were on hand for the announcement took the time to express just how these upgrades will impact Long Island life. That airport is going to be the tipping point for us, I think, as um, as far as you know, the economic development of the island and putting Long Island where it needs to be. That bridge was uh, easy access from mainland Long Island to Newton Ski. I am involved in the straw work industry and it's an area where we go and get the soft top for planning. Member of Parliament for Long Island Adrian Gibson says these plans are a start in finally revitalizing the economy of his native home. The airport represents for us the opportunity to address many of our socio-economic challenges, unemployment and underemployment, and will result in a lot of spin-off businesses, spin-off jobs, and persons coming back home to develop Long Island. Although engineering studies for the airport will not start until next year, and the final results won't be complete for some time, residents maintain their excitement, saying they can't wait for the beauty of Long Island to be accessible for everyone to see. I just waiting to see it because that would be doors opening up for Long Island. We have a lot to offer, but we, we need to get the people here so they can see it and feel it and touch it. Antoine Smith, Zenith Network News.